Why don't we do the order to the Timefall farm then? This one seems pretty close. Charcoal for use in pizza ovens. Premium delivery. And then hopefully by the time I come back here, you're gonna want to connect with me. Right around here? Oh! Hey! There's a lost cargo for him right here. I wonder if they do that on purpose for the hard to find people so that when you find them, you have something to deliver to them. Because I remember this being the case for the novelist's son too. So maybe when we look for the first prepper later on, that's gonna happen too. I would really like that. Is this enough for one star? Delivering cargo. Howdy, Sam. Damn fine work. Shouldn't have to put that kind of burden on a porter, but you rose to the occasion. You've earned my respect, and I don't give that lightly. Join us. Just join us, please. Moment of truth. Come on. <gasps> it didn't move at all. No! This guy's doing the thing with the novelist's son again. And Peter Englert! Why are you like this? Take care, Sam. I've got high hopes for you. Oh, no. I think the issue with these guys, uh, some of you were mentioning in the comments that it's because in order to progress with them, what we gotta do is do a delivery, go to a safe house, and then they'll send me an email, and then I read it, and then I come back and do another delivery, and then we keep doing deliveries and reading emails, and that's how you're supposed to build a relationship with them. Because these guys are kind of difficult, they don't want to do it right away. And that was probably the issue with the novelist's son too. Oh, I want to connect to you before we go back to Lake Knot City. You know, just to finish up all the loose ends. Because I feel like once we get back to Lake Knot, it's going to be end game. Uh, well... At Timefall Farm, do we have a 5 star? We do. Okay, so maybe what I'll do is I'll deliver to the Timefall Farm, use their shelter, and then come back here. And then maybe he'll have an email for me. Come on, man. This isn't that hard, I just want one star. I'm not asking for five, I just want one, okay? Ooh. Wow, I never realized how close this was to the Timefall farm. It's kind of scary. Oh, wow. How the heck did we negate the ping from that far? Oh my god. Not complaining about it. Yeah, so if you look on the map here, this guy was extremely close to the Timefall farm. If we knew he was here, then we could have gotten here already. We just never knew, up until now. Timefall farm is... Right over there. You have cargo for Lake Knot City? I'm headed over there. I'll gladly take it over. Plenty of mules over there. Don't really need to touch them if we don't have to. Can I use that zip line to get a little bit closer? There's one more in the distance. Something is very wrong with the sky ever since we came back. Oh, wow. That crazy? Veteran Porter, thank you. You saved my life. Sam Porter Bridges, eh? I've heard an awful lot about you. I'm a porter too, see? And I like to take an interest in my fellow delivery boys and girls. Now, 
You probably don't know the first thing about this, but the fact is, after the stranding hit, the government didn't come to the rescue. Matter of fact, the almighty USA did jack shit. And you know who picked up the slack? Private porters, that's who. Making deliveries that kept people alive, stepping up and doing what no one else could or would. That's the world I grew up in. I learned that at the end of the day, it's only people you can trust, individuals, not organizations. That's why I want no part of your UCA, or Bridges, neither. Sorry, but that's just how I feel. Nevertheless, I will say that I am mighty grateful to you for bringing me those meds. I'm not sick or anything, just so you know. Not even injured. Just worn out. Burnt out. Fucked on a quantum level, if you like. That's what happens when you push yourself too far. Make one delivery too many. Used to be there wasn't a single mountain I couldn't climb. I'd even trek down south to places most porters have never even heard of much less seen with her own two eyes. Not anymore. I'm not full-on retired or anything, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried about how much longer I can go on. I tell you what, though. I was doing a lot better after you dropped by to see me. Felt good to know I had a buddy out there. Someone who'd keep fighting the good fight long after I'm gone. You'll do that for me, won't you, Sam? Oh, speaking of places down south, I remember that last time I was out that way, I saw something. Little glowing thingy it was. No idea what the hell it was, but it didn't look like something somebody had dropped. Ever seen an object like that? Memory chip? Down south? Like down south from where you are? Uh, well, maybe we'll find it. Maybe we won't. <laughs> My priority right now is getting to Timefall Farm. So there's our email, but can we go back to him right away? And, uh, we need something to deliver to him. Because if we accept orders from his shelter, we get likes for the destination, not the place that we start at. So I'm really hoping that once we get to Timefall Farm here, maybe we'll have some deliveries for the veteran porter. Ooh. Oh, that was really close. Why do I have so little health? I just looked at it now, but what the heck? I've been walking around this whole time with half health. When did that happen? All the tumbling down? I also don't even have a blood bag equipped. Whoa, hey buddy. I'm not here to fight, okay? Oh, they're coming! They're coming! Hold the phone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, scan. Don't scan. come over here, okay? You're not allowed here. This is private property. Clear. Oh my lord. No, I'm not hiding. I, I gotta go. This camp is so close to the Timefall Farm. I can't imagine that these people don't get harassed every day. Are you seriously coming over? I don't know. Ah, this is still zero likes. It's not appearing in other people's games. Okay. Lost Cargo, Elder, Geologist, Lake Knot City. I will save the Lake Knot City one. And we can also take off the thermal pad. Delivering cargo. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, I got a delivery for you, but I'm really wondering. Do you have anything for the veteran porter? No. Paleontologist? Yes. You have one thing. All of your deliveries are basically Timefall Porter Beer. <laughs> Pretty much. No, no, no. I want to deliver your thing first, and then we'll go into the shelter, okay? Make sure all the emails activate and whatnot, and then we'll pick up the delivery for the Veteran Porter. If we're gonna be doing this trip often Delivery between the Timefall Farm and the Veteran Porter, probably would be a good idea for me to invest in the zipline. It's so kind of you to come and see us again. Well, I 
will be. This sure doesn't look like cargo that you've carted all over the place. It's incredible. Honestly, Sam, I don't know how you do it. Zip lines. <laughs> Actually, this time it wasn't zip lines. Not fully, anyway. Are you gonna give me more resins? Oh, and before I forget, there's something we want you to have. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Thank you, though. Thanks. But no thanks. Uh, okay. Take care of yourself, Sam. And come back again anytime. Yeah, you'll always be welcome here. I feel like I would be happier if you gave me Timefall Porter beer. <laughs> As opposed to the resins. When do we ever use resins? I don't even know. Freaking just recycle it right here. But if I recycle it, the bad thing is, I don't think it counts that it's lightweight. So it'll just become normal. Oh? Oh, the resins here are already full. Okay, well in that case, maybe I'll just put it in my private locker. Where'd it go? Yeah. Can I put it in my private locker? It's already in. No! I have another one here. No, I just gotta exit out of the whole thing. Ah, <sighs> because in this menu, we gotta go to the private locker if you wanna access the private locker. I wish you could do more on one screen. Okay. Can I please? You don't have a shelter here? I have five stars with you, but you don't have a shelter for me? Really? That's... Oh, look at the nice map we got going on now. It's completely connected. Hmm. People at the edges? Sorry, we're not gonna come connect you. <laughs> That's just gonna be the way it is. Okay. In this case, I'm just gonna accept the delivery first. And then I think we'll go to the safe house right outside here. Traditional vegetable juice drinks. Interesting. This is the only person who doesn't want beer. Hmm, maybe he doesn't like drinking alcohol? Performance enhancing beverages. The way he was talking to me made him sound like a war veteran. I do imagine he's seen a lot. Since he's a veteran porter and all. Should I drive? Might be good for me to do that because we don't have the zipline set up just yet. All I'll do is go back to the private room here. That guy's all the way up in the mountain, so getting up there might be a bit of a challenge. Oh, this side. Thank you. Who's that? Who is that? Is this some random kid? Uh, is that somebody's child? I don't even know. It's one of the fancy rooms with different wall colors. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Any email for me? Jake Wind. I've only seen Amelie's hologram. Better importer. You're the reason I'm getting no orders. Whoa, you getting mad at me? Last mail, he was like, you saved my life. I owe my life to you. 
How goes it, friend? Much obliged for the meds. These aches and pains of mine are more manageable now. Was a mighty fine delivery set up around these parts once upon a time, before it all went to hell in a handbasket. Folks still need stuff, though. This here is hard country. Hard to put down roots and hard to get out when the going gets tough. Used to do what I could for those in need, make sure they didn't get left to rot. And then, damnedest thing, I started seeing few- oop. I started seeing fewer and fewer orders. Got to wondering if something was afoot. Turns out, it was just little old Jew, taking on the burden, right when I was due for a long rest. Thanks, Sam. You're one of the good ones. Mind you, I wasn't half bad myself. Made it all the way to Ejnaz City once. Oh, wow. Crossed the tar belt and everything. Wow. Weird place, with a distro center smack dab in the middle of downtown. Weird cargo, too. Stuff you never see back east or anywhere else, for that matter. Long as I'm rambling, you ever read about the gold rush? Happened long, long ago. People heard there was gold out west and started heading there in droves, eager to make their fortune. Well, damn this thing, but I think I saw some gold myself when I was out that way. Or maybe it was something else. Had that goldish glint about it, though. <laughs> yeah, we've seen those. The golden tar people. Okay, well, he wasn't mad at me. Hmm. Jake Wind. I've only seen Amelie's hologram. Dear Sam, mind if I ask you a personal question? I heard you're a strand. The president raised you like you were her own, right? Which means you must have grown up with Amelie. What was she like? I've only ever seen her hologram. I mean, I get it. Security precautions. Can't risk letting separatists and terrorists know where she is, but man, what I wouldn't give to really meet her, to see her in the flesh. She seems like such an amazing person, and that's just from the hollow messages. If you do ever catch up to her, I hope you'll tell me all about it. Uh... I heard you're a strand. The president raised you like you were her own. You know, recently I went back and I skimmed the beginning cutscenes again since it's been so long, and... Sam is adopted. Did they ever explicitly state this? Cause, um, in the very beginning, when we first arrived at Capital Knot, Dead Man says to Sam, Hey, remember Bridget? She's the woman who raised you. And the first time I came across it, I was like, Okay, yeah, well, my mom raised me. That makes sense. But I think they meant it in the sense that she didn't give birth to me, but she raised me. Jake, when is dropping this so casually here? I'm guessing it's supposed to be common knowledge that really never registered with me. Wow. Is Sam Bridges our original name then? Because I was always under the impression that we were Sam Strand. But then we left the family, and now that's why we're Sam Bridges. Huh. Okay. Well, we got the mail from the veteran porter, which means we can now leave. Yeah? Oh! They took away the toys already. They put it in the back? Which one is the newest one that we got? Oh, I can't see it, because it really won't let me zoom in that much. Probably that one right here, that we're staring right at in the center. That one is Higgs. Can't zoom in that much, though. Clifford. World War One and Two. This guy is single-handedly bringing back the scenes from World 1 and 2 because he's angry about BB being taken. That's pretty hardcore. Goodness. I don't know how we're gonna banish him. Like, do we wanna um, give him BB? Probably not. But he also doesn't seem to die, ever. We've defeated him, but he never goes away. Okay. So we have a zipline here. Which leads us to the zipline... Okay. Yeah, the bad thing about this zipline is that it's in direct... It's in the area of the camp, but no matter. It goes here, and then if we can set up one that's around here, then I think that would be for the best. So I'll just go directly to this one. So we can avoid the camp.
And then all we gotta do is go up here. Oh, but the thing is, we can't set up a thing because he hasn't connected with me yet. Gosh dang it. I'm hoping this time he'll be willing. Because otherwise, I'm not sure how many more times we gotta do this safe house email delivery routine again. This bike is pretty good. For going up mountains, definitely seems like bikes are the better deal here. Trucks can't really do the same kind of maneuvering. Hey, that was simple. Thank you for the bike. Now do you want to join me? Please. And thank you. Delivering cargo. Still living the life, Sam. Yup, it's been about five minutes since I last saw you. Uh, the legend sure does deliver, huh? Cargo's in damn near perfect condition. How you got it here looking like that, I surely do not know. Bike! This time, it was a bike. And it helps that it was really, really close by. Yes! Omni Reflector. Vehicle color. Ooh! Like a... what is it? Like a mirror? Yes! Oh, wonderful! Oh, that's been destroyed. <laughs> See? That's fine, whatever. Oh yeah, you're trying to get everyone on that network of yours. Oh, I can see the value in it, I can. But I'm still not ready to commit to anything major. That's fine. So no, I'm not gonna join the UCA. But if that's not a requirement, then hook me up. That's fine, that's fine. All these people who don't really want to join the UCA, if we do enough deliveries with them, do they all eventually change their mind? Or are there going to be people who are just ideologically against it? Because this guy changed his mind pretty dang fast. <laughs> Lovely. Yes. Bridges contract. Yeah, now we get to see all the stuff around here too. Cool. So uh, I'm online now. See your pretty face. It's been a long time since I first heard the pitch, so I can't say I remember exactly how my life's supposed to change. Anyway, I'll take a look and think about what the UCA has to offer. Take care, Sam. I've got high hopes for you. Uh... Is that Sam Lake? New order available. Sam Lake cameo? Access delivery terminal for further information. It's been a while since we've seen a cameo, so I wasn't too sure anymore, but I, I think that was Sam Lake. Yeah, look at that. Huh. Well, if you're on the network already, I got no need for you. <laughs> Don't need to do any of that. For this stuff here, everything is freaking 99%. Oh, whatever. Just do whatever you want. Deploying autonomous delivery bot. I thought I saw a hot springs symbol around here somewhere. In the area that we just connected to. Let me look on the map again. You know, the bad thing about not being able to fragile jump right now is that... If I want to go back to the novelist's son, that's actually kind of a trek. Holy crap, look at how many freaking zip lines I made around here. <laughs> Probably not the most efficient way to do it. Yeah, so you're with Bridges now. The Elder was also kind of um, not wanting to join us. Was that it? That's not so bad. So many people are on the UCA network. Okay. No, that is not a hot springs symbol. Okay, well... 
I can imagine that there is a great view here. But I'm probably not gonna go just for the view. Yeah. Okay, well, we've connected you. Now what? I can try to go find the first prepper. But I think I'll go to the novelist's son first, because I'm hoping I'll get you connected. And then we'll go back here, and then we'll do the pizza delivery, and then we'll go to Lake Knot City. Yeah? I think it'll be easy, though, once we get the novelist's son, because we have the network that goes to the spiritualist. Who is pretty close to this area anyway. I'm really hoping we can find a cargo for him or her before we go there, but if we can find the shelter... I'm really hoping there will be lost cargo right outside. Okay. Well, well, well. If I can't fragile jump and I want to go back to the novelist's son, what should I do? Go to the hot springs. <laughs> no. No. I... I think we probably have to go back up the hill. Yeah, there's a zip line here. Hmm. And then, yeah, we gotta get back to the geologist. Because if we do that, we can go back to Hartman and then back to the main area here and then go to the novelist's son. Okay, so let's, uh, let's head towards that. Nice bridge. Not useful, though. I don't think. <laughs> if we want to go back... To the geologist. This way good? Can I use the zip line? This would have been a beautiful hill to ride down on with a floating carrier. Can I give this a try? Okay. No. But it goes down. Oh, I should have taken that one up here. Oh, man. Everybody had the same sort of idea, but we didn't put it in the same spot, so it doesn't connect. That's fine. I'll take this one as far as I can go, but it is running out of battery soon. Keep on keeping on. I don't know if we're lucky, but we haven't ran into a single BT for as long as we've been back here. Hartman did say something about how they're a little bit affected by whatever the hell we did. So I'm kind of worried on that front, but if we don't ever see them, I am also completely okay with that. Oh my god, why did I have to go and open my big mouth? <laughs> this has got to be a joke! Me and my big, fat mouth. Yeah, let's, uh... Thank you, car. But I'll be leaving you for now. Uh, I'm pretty sure these two don't connect. But it's closer. If I can just walk directly to the geologist... No, no, no. Let's walk back to this one. Okay, we'll be fine, alright. Yeah, making sure I'm crouching. Crouching in the deep snow. Some truck somewhere is getting ruined. Ah. Uh, that's... Not normal. Are you the only one? No umbilical cord. And... Frankly, massive. Can I... Can I cut you? I don't think that's a good idea. Let's not mess with it. That is definitely not normal, though. The size! It looks like it's twice the size of the other ones. And it's stuck to the ground. 
We can't even free it from its suffering. Oh. Oh, I kept holding my breath the whole time. It kind of seems like that was the only one in the whole area. What is this? A new kind of um, enemy? Hmm. No, there may be more near here. The thing is flickering this way now. Okay, that's a normal one. So the big one was an anomaly. I thought they were all gonna be like that from now on. The thought of that kind of freaked me out. Yeah, if you can compare the size right now, like that was an entirely different size. Pretty scary. Am I still going the right way here? Over here? Oh, I freaking... Hmm. I accidentally took the thing away. Right over here. Would it be alright for me to... walk around a tad? They are pretty far apart. So that's one thing I'm thankful for here. A part of me kind of wishes I engaged in that BT just now. Just to see what I can do, but... Maybe not willingly like that, okay? Because that seems kind of reckless. We're on a mission today. And that mission does not include getting killed by random gigantic BTs. Are we good now? Yes. Scary though, because... What even was that? Oh dear. Someone's happy. Well, best not to dwell on it, I guess. I'm sure we'll have the opportunity to find out sooner or later. Just like how this guy right now is kind of messed up, but we don't really know what it means. It's pretty, but it also can't be a good thing, and it's not natural. We have two worlds, this world and the other world. I don't think we want things like, oh, the world's merging or colliding. None of that type of thing happening would be a good thing for us. Okay, we made it back to the zipline network. This, at the minimum, goes directly to Hartman's. And then I'm pretty sure... No, I'm pretty sure we can go back to... The photographer, at least. And then we'll take a car around there. If we can do a mountaineer delivery as we're doing this, that would be kind of nice too. Because we're kind of close to getting five stars with them. All hail the thermal pad. Not getting any flakes on me at all. Even though the pad is only on my upper arms, my entire body is okay. Oh dear. Um, yeah, we'll go. I was thinking maybe we wanted to look in Hartman's lab for deliveries, but it's all right. We'll just go. And as usual, all the zip lining is ruining my cargo. Even though there's no frost on me. That's awful. Not that one. 
Whenever we take a zip line, it's like it accelerates the rate of the decay. It seems like maybe what's happening here is it counts the distance that you walk. So whenever we take a zip line, we go really, really fast and cover a lot of distance, which makes it seem like the decay goes by super duper fast. Okay. Yeah, we'll get off here even though we can connect over there. Because I want to see what deliveries you have. And maybe just check out what Mountain on City is like in general. Dude, it's all gray and hazy everywhere now. I don't like it. My armor plates didn't even get to use them properly yet. Hey, while we're here, we can probably finish building this paver right here. What? Cargo for delivery damaged by high temperature. I don't even know what we got there. Gumi Seijin? No, that's the person's name, right? Yeah. Oh, it's that. It's not one I got on me. Okay. Hold on. You need a little bit of Cairo crystals and about 600 metals and then 500 ceramics. 600 metals, 500 ceramics. Let's go. 600 metals. 500 ceramics. Whoa, this haze is pretty bad. We can even see it while we're going indoors. Ooh, check out this one. 105 likes. Uh... <laughs> How many metals? How many ceramics? <laughs> 500 and 600, I think. Was it the other way around? No, I don't think so. 500... And then... 640 is fine. I don't really care at this point. Yeah. Can I carry all of this? It's a little bit heavy. Mm-hmm. Out of curiosity, do you have anything good for me? Mountaineer? I'll do that. Spiritualist? Photographer? We're kind of going to these people anyway. Veteran Porter. Tabletop role-playing games. For one person. Hey, delivery for the novelist's son. That's good. The novelist's son did already email us from a while ago. So I think it's okay for me to do a delivery for him. But let me just get this paper dealt with first, okay? Because it's really close to being built. I don't think we need to go into the private room to rest again. Because we just did. And there's one here too. Okay. Have it all. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'm missing 40 medals. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. That's okay. We have it. I just got to walk back again. That's all. And I'm wasting 200 ceramics, but I don't care. Okay, well, if we're gonna go anyway, then this time I can probably accept some of the other orders too. And then we'll just get going. What about the completely rotted stuff on my back? Do I want to make a cargo repair spray for that? Probably. Just in case. 50? Mm-hmm. Thank you. What do I got on me anyway? Mmm, the armor plate. 
It seems like... The container gets damaged by the snow and the rain, but the cargo itself doesn't get damaged unless if you trip and fall. Good for me, but it kind of makes me wonder why that's the case. Yeah, William Lake will eventually bring that back too. Oh, we should be using the sticky gun. I completely forgot about that. We have it. We should remember it. Okay. So I'll take the Mountaineer. Ooh, this one seems like it's kind of heavy. 50 kilograms. Photographer. As always, very light. And then Spiritualist. I want to do the Spiritualist. Oh, Novelist's Son, of course. Can we take all of this? Yeah, Spiritualist. We can always come back to Mount Natsuri later on if we really need it. Let me just see if I can even handle this, because I picked up a lot of stuff just now. Don't need this. Okay, miraculously, we're good to go. Yeah, the spiritualist, I think it's okay. Even this stack is a tad high. <laughs> But hopefully we'll be okay. Do you want me to just pick up that lost cargo? I have the thermal pad with me right now though. I'm still gonna continue damaging it. God, look at this haze. I don't like it. Okay. Yada yada yada. Da da. Boom. Beautiful. It's hard to get back that excitement when I first saw the road, but it never stops being amazing every time. How far does that go? Oh wow, this one goes really far, and kind of in a weird place. Where is the next paver? Hmm. I don't think I've ever been in this area before, because we've always gone this way, via the zip lines. Mm, as much as I would like to try it now, I feel like I can't because I want to go to the Mountaineer first. Maybe some other time, when we come back later on? You can tell we haven't even been here before because I don't even know where the auto paver is. Maybe some other time. Okay, so if I want to go to the zip lines, which one should I go to? This one's closer, I guess. Oh, no, no, we want to go to that one. Fancy safe houses with our music. Does everybody in Death Stranding listen to the same music? It's kind of weird that we got like one or two Japanese songs among all the English songs. Although in present day America, you would definitely find materials of other languages too. It's just that... That's not really part of the scope of the um, topics that Death Stranding wants to tackle here. A reminder that even up until now, we don't really officially know what's going on in any other continent or country besides America. We have this crazy chiral network, but we don't have a way to contact anybody else outside. It's kind of insane. Okay. This way. Check out that road. This is a really long one.
And so is the zip line. Ooh, if we can. Might be nice if we can see what the BTs in this area look like. Don't know if we can, though. Kind of want to pick that up. But, um... Well, okay. Because I'm kind of bringing Cargo to the Mountaineer, because I want to 5-star him, so that's why I'm stopping here. Just to pick this up. Weirdly enough, no you-know-whats today. I'm not gonna say that anymore though, because last time, the moment I said it. <laughs> Don't want that happening again. Ooh, frick. No. Anything I can drop? Don't want to drop anything. Milk bottle... Ah, I don't want to drop anything I have. What if, instead of carrying the all-terrain skeleton, I attach this to my suit? Because this is two items. Like that. It sucks, but if I do that, can I temporarily carry one more cargo? Attach the suit. No, I gotta drop something. Ah, uh, do I really care about this piece of lost cargo that much? That I would drop something I have right now for it? Okay, well, if you're not gonna give me the space, then let me put back on the... Oh! Oh! I thought this was, um... I thought if we put something on the suit, then this comes off, but it doesn't. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what, um... PCC? Can I build something here? Let's freaking build a post box right here and call it a day. Ah, what do I do? Armor plates? Um... I'll drop the kind of damage thermal pad. How about that? One. And then maybe we can attach it to my suit. Yeah. I'll come back for you if you're still here. If you don't become lost cargo. But I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Oh, I'm still holding on to it. <laughs> yeah, I can at least put it next to the zip line. That's okay. Yeah, watch those lights roll in again. That's how this works. 59! Don't be so stingy, I built a long road. <laughs> but I didn't contribute that much to it, maybe that's the problem. Okay, well I'm gonna drop it right here then. Or, can I carry it on my hand? No, I dropped it automatically. That's okay. Now that I have one thermal pad, my cargo is still getting frosted off, but I'm okay. Hmm. Actually, no, because I'm getting... Uh... How come I can't go anywhere? Oh, I took the wrong zip line. Holy frick. We gotta go back. It just took a while, but the effects still work. Does that mean that I really only need one thermal pad? I don't need two? I kind of just made two because for the armor plates, we needed two. But seems like one works just as well. There's a the BTs. What? Wait, we're out of the area, right? Yeah, but there were BTs down there. 
BTs and Higgs. BT, I mean, um, I know we defeated Higgs now, but I never thought that the BTs would go away entirely. Because I thought the relationship between Higgs and the BTs was really just that he was using them, but he didn't, like, make them come here. So now that he's dead, it just means that no one's really taking advantage of them being here anymore. But not that they don't exist anymore entirely. Something definitely has changed though, judging by that gigantic BT we saw before. Baby! Baby! Have your cargo. Yes, milk bottles, antiviral drugs, educational products. <laughs> Whatever the heck that means. Like stuff like coloring books. Delivering cargo. Thank you for coming. How's he doing? To think you got this here without so much as a single scratch to show for it. You gotta give me a few tips sometime. Will that be enough? It might not be. If it isn't, then at the very minimum, I can say I tried my best. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be enough. That's fine. Well, I tried. By the way, I got you a little something. It's not much, but if it makes your life easier... Did you give me a custom chiral climbing anchor? Yes. Thank you. I'm sure it'll come in useful sometime. If there's ever anything I can do for you, just say the word. Give me five stars. <laughs> no? Good work. Fine. New order available. Please. You got anything for me? Glacier ice to the engineer. No, thank you. Uh, oh, yeah, this is the one up there. I've never been in that area either. Ice from the snowy mountains. After we do the novelist sun? How do we plan on going back to that side? No, we gotta go back to the first prepper. Okay, because I was thinking. Depending on how long it takes for me to connect to the novelist's son, we might have to go to a safe room so that we can read some emails. And then this place would be the closest one for that. But that's not a given, so I'm not gonna do it. You wanna go to the engineer? It's a really long delivery. 25 minutes. Deploying autonomous delivery bot. Ice in a box. Now I'm thinking if I should be going back to get my thermal pad because I think it's still okay. It hasn't become lost just yet. But at the same time, I'm so lazy. <laughs> so I might not do it anyway. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> 